a long spring for us, it looks like. Yeah, you're absolutely right, David. It happens every single spring. The temperatures begin to climb. We see the rain like we did this morning. And then, yes, those mosquitoes populations begin to boom. It's a busy time for exterminators, but as I found out, it could be extra busy this season. You got flower pots, you've got cups. Nobody gets under there and eliminates that. So stuff like that's a perfect example of why do I continue to have a mosquito problem? Mosquito season is here, but this year there's a new twist, a Zika scare. Almost everyone around here has small children. We live in Brookhaven, and um, they have their yards treated. No one has contracted the mosquito-borne illness in the U.S. Still, homeowners won't risk it. Customers will often ask, you know, what can we do to help with that problem? Um, and a lot of times we're not going to get rid of the illness, but we can definitely treat to help to reduce the mosquito population. Mosquitoes thrive with as little as a bottle cap of water. Cool. Toys left outdoors, drainage covers, or leaves could become a breeding ground. All a mosquito needs in order to survive is a temperature above 40 degrees. And this year has been so interesting with really a lack of winter. Um, the mosquito season started a little bit earlier. An early start doesn't mean a worse year. Draining standing water and spraying can make a big difference. And this year, the Zika scare might even make more people take care of their lawns. Especially with the Zika thing going around. I haven't noticed a huge pickup this year, except for maybe people like us who haven't done it before, but now are in order to protect others in the neighborhood as well. So following this morning's rain, you're going to want to make sure to get outside and get rid of any standing water. It actually only takes 10 to 14 days from a rain for a new batch of mosquitoes to hatch. Tom.